So it's Monday, March 1st. I'm at my day job on my lunch break, and we're gonna go drop off packages from the sales from last night. Yesterday, I met with the auction company. There's a place around here called Auctions by Carolyn. Let's go drop our packages off. You want to? People are rude downtown. Okay, so I've got all the packages dropped off. So, yesterday on uh, Sunday, the uh, people from Auctions by Carolyn came over to just sort of talk with me. And they have an auction house out in Hudson. And every Monday they do auctions. And currently they've got a setup where they've got a couple of guys from what it sounds like who ships them from out of state or just out of, from another uh, city altogether. Some, uh, they are out of state it sounds like. I don't know if they drive in here or what, but. So we've got, they've got three guys or three people, whatever, who send them stuff and then it's mostly brand new merchandise. It's things like they said food and stuff like that. And some used stuff, but it's mostly stuff like food items and cleaning supplies and, and, uh, and stuff like that. And he said the vast majority of the people who go to his auctions are retirees, um, older folks. The type of people who aren't necessarily going to buy the, the items that I have, the factory sealed toys and, and stuff like that. But what we can do is they advertise up on the auction zip app. So what we can do is send them, we can give them a bunch of pictures. I can give them pictures of everything I have. Uh, just snap a quick photo, one picture or two, whatever of each item. And then they'll list that stuff. They'll advertise it up on the auction zip app like all the other auction houses do that I, when I look on there, I see the different auction houses around and I see that they've got their auctions advertised and there's usually pictures of what they have. <clears throat> um, and it's a good way to get the word out for people to see what you have and to, to build up some interest. And he said the reason they don't do it is because they never know what they're gonna have until the day of the sale, which I guess makes sense. Um, if you have people who are showing up the day of, or they're shipping you stuff and it gets there the day of, I mean, you don't know what you have until the day of. If what I can do, they're local, they just live down the street. What I can do is I can buy pallets of merchandise, new and used, guest returns, and grade A factory sealed, and buy storage lockers and maybe do like a mixed type auction where it's new stuff, used stuff, some vintage stuff, some, some newer used type stuff, non-vintage, non-antique, whatever the word, whatever that word is. And we can advertise out and maybe get in the type of buyers that'll buy this stuff. Um, so basically they have an open day. They've got, it's hot out here. They've got, it's Florida after all. They've got, there's four Mondays in every month and there might be five in a few months, I don't know, but there's basically four months in every month. And from what he said, the first three Mondays are taken up. They already have somebody booked in those, in, on that day, on those days. But there's that fourth Monday of the month, the last Monday of the month that's kind of just open. And that's interesting to me because if I can get them my merchandise and they can they can just put it in their auction house and sell it, I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, that connects some dots for me in terms of how to move the merchandise that I don't want to put on eBay, just for whatever reason. If I don't want to, you know, it, it's uh, missing a part or it's, you know, hasn't been fully tested or uh, just isn't worth it from a shipping perspective. If I don't want to put that stuff up on eBay or Amazon to sell, if I can take it to this auction house, it'll make a whole lot of sense. They're local. The guy lives right down the road. It's the guy and his wife. They live right down the street from, uh, from uh, mom's house. So that makes it nice. 
and you said they pay cash and they take 20%. So I've called some other auction houses around Tampa to kind of get an idea of who does this, who can I take stuff to? And almost everybody that I've, or not almost, everyone I've talked to up until now has wanted to take 35 to 45% and then they want to pay usually with a check like a couple weeks later so you have the auction on a Monday or a whenever and then two weeks later you'll get paid well these guys have told me that they'll have the auction Monday night they'll take 20% and they'll pay out cash Monday night and they have an open day I guess the the difficult part the difficult part is it's Monday it's Monday night it's not like a Saturday night or which would be the best night for me is Saturday night for me personally just because of the Monday through Friday work schedule but obviously Monday nights work for them um, because that's when they have their auctions they wouldn't do a Monday night if it didn't make sense to do a Monday night so what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna go out today's Monday I don't know if I'm gonna be able to leave work early enough so I'm either gonna go this Monday today or I'm gonna go next Monday just to get a feel for the auction house how they do things um, he said they've got 30 some tables in there good security with cameras <clears throat> um, and the 20% that I pay him, he pays the auctioneer, he pays his staff, he takes his cut, all from the 20%. So it definitely sounds like something that will be doable for me to do, at least initially to try. I have a good amount of product right now that I don't have a place to really sell. I mean, it's up on eBay. Some of this stuff has been on eBay for six months and it's just, it's just not moving for whatever reason I mean I might be priced a little bit high but you know some of these board games you know I've got them for $12.99 free shipping well they're kind of heavy you know I think they'd probably ship <clears throat> either right at the top of first class or they're gonna go over into priority so it's gonna cost me either six seven dollars first class or eight eight fifty priority to ship these things well if I get thirteen dollars for it I pay eight bucks to ship it after I pay fees and taxes, I might make two, three bucks. Maybe, right? If I could just take this stuff to the auction, sit it there and get a couple bucks a piece cash for this stuff and just move it out, it really might make sense. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna try it. 100% for sure, we're gonna try it at least once. Now here's the thing. They want me to take all the pictures. So they basically said, if I take the pictures and send them the pictures, they'll post it up on their auction zip site, they'll advertise it, and they'll try to bring some people in. Well, I guess the lower cut that they take, the fact that they would only take 20%, not the 35 or the 45, I guess maybe that's why they wouldn't do, they wouldn't do that, that part of the work, I guess. Um, at any rate, um, so if I can take them a couple of hundred items and get, you know, five, six dollars a piece, just say five bucks a piece average, if I can take them two or three hundred items and get on average five, six bucks a piece, you know, and take them 300 items and make 1500 to two grand in a night at an auction and then they take their you know 20 percent 200 bucks 400 bucks whatever and then the rest just cash in my pocket man that is that's intriguing because if i can get if if things like the toys if we can market this stuff correctly and get the right group of people in there to the auction <clears throat> that's interested in buying toys for four or five dollars a piece I can get this stuff all day long I can get brand new 
uh, pallets of toys shipped to me all day long for a couple bucks a toy, for a couple bucks an item. If I can then, if I can buy a pallet of toys that has a thousand toys on it and I get it for three grand and I'm paying three bucks a toy, roughly, and then I turn around and take this stuff to an auction and I sell the thousand items for five dollars a piece and I make five grand minus the 20 percent minus the three thousand I spent for it <clears throat> if I can make 12 to 1500 bucks in a night on one purchase one big pallet purchase it really might make sense it really might make sense it just depends on the crowd the type of people that show up <clears throat> Um, he's he's basically said he's just he's just not sure um, the current crowd that shows up is a is retiree type folks the type of folks who are just not gonna buy sealed toys in any quantity at least not you know <clears throat> in February and March um, you know they might buy some for the grandkids or something in December November December time but they're not gonna buy 12 sealed board games for four or five bucks a piece they're just not going to but if we can get the right group in there <clears throat> if we advertise it properly and i'm not talking just toys i'm talking electronics i'm talking things like legos which are toys i guess um and even some of the video game stuff so right now i've got probably 40 or 50 video games left that haven't moved they haven't sold if we can move those at the auction that might make that that might make sense I mean, my brain is really churning here. After the conversation with him yesterday, and when I talked to him the first time over the phone, he had mentioned how he has a Monday open, but it just didn't really click for whatever reason, but he has a Monday open. <clears throat> um, and so if I can consistently get product, there might be a, a consistent place to move it, provided we can advertise correctly. I asked him, how many people show up to his auctions. And of course with COVID, um, he's had to scale back the number of seats. He said his auction house can hold 140, uh, but he's cut that down to 70. He's moved half of the seats and everything is spaced out. And he says for the most part, every night that he has an auction, there's a, a body in every chair and some people standing. So if you get a full packed house, I mean, I've been to auctions. I've been to several auctions around town and I go with the intention to buy things to, for, for resale purposes. And almost never do things go for a price low enough that makes sense to resale. I mean, almost never. I mean, I'm sure there's deals to be had and all that kind of thing. My limited experience and the handful I've gone to <clears throat> isn't representative of what auctions are like in general. But the few auctions that I have been to, items that I've seen that were potential resale items I mean they, they they went for a pretty good amount of money so if you can advertise it properly and you can get the right group of people to come in I mean there's a chance that you can go from a five dollar per item to ten dollars per item you know you bring in 300 items at five bucks a piece it's 1500 you bring in 300 items at ten bucks a piece that's three grand it's a big difference so we're gonna try it we're gonna try it. Um, I think what we're gonna shoot for is, it. today is March 1st, and it also just happens to be the first Monday of the month. What I'm gonna shoot for is probably, probably here in March. Um, I'm gonna see about getting a little bit more inventory. I'm gonna see about getting a bunch of pictures taken of what I do have. Send everything over to him, him and his wife. Let them get some pictures up and start advertising this thing. One of the really good things about this is they live right down the road. They have a truck, they have a trailer, <clears throat> and they said they'd be willing to help get the stuff from here, from Tampa, out to Hudson, which really is, it's the hardest part for me because I don't have a truck. I have a small SUV, crossover SUV. I don't have a trailer. I would have to rent like a U-Haul or a, you know, a truck and a trailer and, and <clears throat> get it to get everything out there. And just that alone is, a, is an added expense. You know, you rent a U-Haul to drive 30 miles out the Hudson and back. 
you know, that's going to be a couple hundred bucks. Gas and just a, a dollar per mile on the U-Haul. Um, you know, you're, you're going to be up there with some change. So, if I can get all this material shipped to me, shipped to my house, I pull out the expensive items and put those up on eBay. I take everything else and put it in my storage locker, my storage locker, until it's ready to be photographed and posted on their auction zip site, on their auction zip account. Then that weekend or whatever, before he and I or whoever, he gets his truck, he gets his trailer, he meets me at my house or my storage unit. We load everything up and then he's going out there anyway, so we can just take the stuff out there, you know? Um, and then eventually I'll buy a truck and a trailer and I do want to buy a box truck eventually, not right now, but eventually. But he's close, he's right down the street, he has a truck and a trailer and he is going to be willing to, to help me get stuff to him. I mean, it, it almost sounds like a no-brainer. Um, they only take 20%, whereas everybody else I've talked to, literally everybody else, the minimum I've heard is 35%, and you're gonna have to wait to get paid. But not with these guys. Now, I don't know what the catch is. You know, I don't know. I, again, I haven't seen the auction house. I haven't seen what any of it looks like. I don't know. Um, they do their, I do see them up on auction zip. So they're not just talking. Yeah, they are legitimate. Um, this guy talks about how they buy out houses and, and do house clean outs and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it's, it's a legitimate auction, uh, auction house. Um, you know why they only do 20% and everybody else does 35. I don't know. Um, now again, they, they're asking me to take the pictures and kind of do some of the work. So maybe that's part of it, <clears throat> but we'll see. Um, so anyway, uh, so we had those conversations yesterday. Uh, I had those conversations yesterday. I was going to do some filming, but it was just more of a conversation. It wasn't so much, uh, going through and showing them the merchandise and having price conversations or anything like that. It was more just a just a just a general conversation about his auction house their auction house and where they are and uh you know days of the week and type of stuff that gets sold and the type of person that comes in and, and stuff like that and then at the end we talked about logistics a little bit and you know some of what i was just talking about before the transporting back and forth of the merchandise and everything like that but anyway so just a just a a quick video here for myself um I am gonna do this. We are gonna gonna go with this auction house. We are gonna at least do it once and see what happens. Um, it's gonna be a lot of pictures to take, but you know, if we can get the right crowd there, it, it'll make sense. So, anyway, um, so those videos will be coming. We're gonna have some some live auction videos coming here real soon. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.